Hello everyone, welcome to the Morrowind. Welcome to my adventures in the Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls 3. With the Blood Moon and Tribunal and Morrowind Rebirth combined with Morrowind Overhaul. Enough introduction. Uh, I know that most of you know my setup when it comes to Morrowind. Oh, hello, Chim. Welcome to the stream, man. Let's quickly load the game and uh, continue where we left off last time. How you doing, Chim? Having fun, mate? And let me just crank up the volume a bit. There we go. Uh, just a second. I'm setting up some things. There we go. Okay. Uh, yesterday I managed to bypass some uh, quests that, uh, that were about the donations and shit like that. Uh, since current quests in the Imperial Call that I'm doing are... Um, I, I don't find them... I'm not satisfied with them, so... Yeah. And I want to get rid of some things that I have here since I'm pretty much over encumbered. Oh, hello Exilia, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty much over encumbered with some things and yeah, so I'm planning, I'm thinking of uh, to start the, oh my god, this drink is strong as fuck, to start the uh, temple questline and to pretty much bring to the end this uh, imperial cult questline or Maybe finish it in the next playthrough or whatever, you know. And yeah, I need to get rid of unnecessary things, definitely. So check out this exquisite robe. I don't, I don't really need that in my possessions. So let's quickly move some things. Hmm. I think I have the boots of levitation, but these are better since they are lighter, you know. Treasure is nice. Septum ring, nice. All these things are pretty much nice. <laughs> I'll keep my jewelry. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. And Jim says I'm doing uh, nice. Thank you for asking. I might stream Terraria tomorrow if it works fine. That's nice, mate. And don't forget about the game I suggested to you. You will find it very, very enjoyable. Um, okay, uh, first thing first, let's go to the temple since my agility is like completely... Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. Let's go to the temple in Wivac. Uh There I will search to join the temple or... Let me check the quests. That would be the best. Rash of insult, ship no mead. Uh, Boetia's quest. I spoke to Kajit Maik. Maik, and he gave me information on a sunken shrine to Boetia of the coast near Hlaud. It's difficult to know whether or not this is a true. This Kajit seems to have a lot of ridiculous information. Yes, Maik is a uh, voice of Todd Howard in this game, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, yeah, I saved this guy. Active. There we go. This makes more sense. Mm. Fargo Sky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would wish that Imperial is here to see this. This quest is unfinished. <laughs> Let's go to the Fighters Guild, the code book. Yeah, that, that quest will never be done. Pudai Egg Mine, Joel the Outlaw Gateway Ghost, Stolen Heights, Portrait and Nervarine. I think I'm going to dedicate my time to the um, main quest. I'll try to become the um, ho 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 Tretor, not Traitor, but Tretor. Uh, I'm pronouncing it all the time very, very wrong, but whatever. I hope you don't mind, Exilia. 
<laughs> Since I'm not saying Hortator, I'm saying Hortrator. It's like, like like someone is betraying someone, and that's not the case. Um, I'll try to become the leader of one of another another one of these tribes since I really want to get a little into the um, uh, main quest let me just check this spells that this nice person has Ch charisma oh I don't need that I have that crazy ass mask Hortator <laughs> I called the first one you said. <laughs> sauce. Yes, Chip. The sauce. <laughs> and you would normally pronounce it as sauce, right? Okay, so... Mm, the Ahemusa. We're going to go there and uh, start with them, pretty much. See what I need. I know that they have very, very nice quest line, and become their hotator. Yes, we also call it umak. Oh, it sounds so. That's that's probably a real domestic term for the sauce, right? Very nice, Umak. This guy is kind of stuck with his door, so I'm glad that I helped him. Okay, let's travel to the Wasp, and from the Wasp we should be use our foot and try to get to the um, Ahemusa camp. That's the plan, at least. We'll see. Uh, Dagenfell. Let me quickly check the map since. Can I go with Dagonfell as well? No, 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 it's it's too far. Okay, uh, take me to Telmora, and from Telmora I'm gonna go to the boss. Oh, hello, Courtney, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, you, you all like, there are already four people here. That's nice. And for some reason I cannot speak with the certain someone who can take me to the boss. That's ridiculous, but whatever. Yeah, the code name Art Artkinson. I've got a bunny. What's this? Oh, there's the boss. Oh, I'm close to it. Okay, I can go from here. Never mind. Mm, where's my water walking? There we go. Perfect. So, as I said, uh, now we are going to walk all the way to Ahemusa camp on the north. And see what I need. So I can be proclaimed a water toil. They are one of the most endangered tribes. If you didn't know this Exilia, these guys on the north, they are like on the brink of extinction. They are like disease upon them. Their place, their natural habitat is in falling apart. Uh, there are like tons of things upon them. This tribe, compared to other tribes like Urshilaku and others, who are like, you know, rich and things like that. My name is Exilia, in the chat is Chim, and the streamer is Xenox. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy. This is Telwas, okay, we, we still have a long walk to get there. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, there they are. Perfect. 
cry about it now. I, I forgot to give her, give her an admin since I'm a bit confused and Miss Xenox is kind of busy with some other things these days. She's kind of <laughs> deeply immersed into the Elder Scrolls legends. <laughs> but she will come up with more Skyrim and things like that, I presume. <coughs> Can't wait for the New Year's Eve party to spend it with my true friends. Yeah, that, that's real life friends. You can have so few of them and they are really precious. I agree with you. Okay, uh, in this camp I need to speak with a wise woman probably or... Yeah, there she is. Looking forward to more Skyrim. Yeah, she, she will be recording it as soon as she, you know... <laughs> Achieve some things in Elder Scrolls Legends, I presume, since she's totally going on with that game. Uh, have you given courtesy first to my Gulakan Snow? Have you no manners? Go! What? The Gulakans of Ahemusar, Kausi, Herder, Dinishia, Du... Whatever. Uh, Hunter and Brother. Uh, let me ask you about the, you know... Okay, I need to show the courtesy to Gulakans. Shit. They are probably the guys in this... Yeah, this is Kausi. Uh, nice one, Chim. Do you guys have any fireworks on this broadcast? Or things broadcast in your countries? Yes, there is fireworks show every year. Oh, hello, Josh. Welcome to the stream, man. I uh, appreciate that you come, that you stop by. Oh, that's very nice sound effect. Hello, Kausi. I came to... Do you come to claim the name of Nerevarine? I hope you came... To Come to the deeds of the Nerevarine. We need the deeds, not the name. You must speak to the wise woman, Sinamu Mirpal. We're poor, sad tribe without an Ashakan and led by a wise woman. Okay, uh, I'll go and speak with her. She, she just, you know, she died just to chase me away from her tent. Oh, I love the rain. <coughs> She'll probably speak with me now, right? I have heard of an outlander who seeks to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies and to be named Nerevarine. Are you that outlander? Fuck yeah. I know the prophecies. I know an outlander, claimed friend of Urshilak, who has done great deeds and claims to fulfill those prophecies. Are you that outlander? And why are you here? I want to. Uh, I have Musa to name in Nerevarine. I will examine your proofs and you will tell me your story. And if. If I'm satisfied according to custom and with reference to the prophecies of an emu, I must send her in. But there will be a price, so there is always price with Dark Elves. The Ahamusa needs a safe place and you will provide that safe place. In seasons past, just give me a second. There we go. Uh, in seasons past, when threatened, the Ahemusa could take shelter in the ruins of El Dead Rot. But now the priestess Hilarini Indavel has come and restored the Deadric Shrine and worshippers of Shiogora dwell there, protected by terrible sorcerers and summonings. First, you will go to El Dead Rot and make it safe for Ahemusa, then you will return. I will accompany you there, and if El Dead Rot is a safe place for my people, I'll name you never were in. Fair enough, fair enough. And I will do that. Uh, okay. Uh, this is this Dwemer ruin that I'm about to visit now is like not Dwemer ruin, uh, Dedrick ruin is like the m most craziest place. I Exilia, have you been to this ruin here that has like the uh, tur tournament going on uh, between like the coordinators and the other guys you know th they call it the dance and they are constantly killing each other have you, have you played that quest by the way it 
Let's save the game here. Perfect. Now I can use a water walking. There we go. Awesome. Uh, it it name is El Ald Dedrot. A L D D A D A E D R O T H. It's it's very unique place. I always can like a fear of going there since they are behaving like a <laughs> bunch of idiots and shit like that. It's really a unique place to be. And I'm getting near. I don't remember if I have been there. One sec. It's a place full of ordinators and... Dadra and other warriors. And they are fighting each other basically to, to you know, to the last one. Oh, hello Alex. Welcome to the stream. Привет. To the stream. <laughs> okay, there it is. And in front of it, there should be like two ordinators uh, who will ask me, "Am I? Did I come here to dance?" Of course, I come here to dance. I'm going going to dispose them of like in a second wait am I on the right place oh there we go yes I'm on the right place and Exilia check the deedles man they're, they are already fighting you see this oh my god someone is naked <laughs> okay who are you Outlander I don't know you Outlander what, what are you doing here are you here to worship this Paul shrine I'm at the Nerevarine quest no, you are the false incarnate. Oh man, you're you're going to you like. He has like nice weapons though. He's going to eat the, the sword. There we go. Demon mace. Yeah, I'm taking that. Oh my god. Okay, let's two of those. I'm over encumbered like for real? Fuck. Okay, let's remove health boosters. No health boosters, train boosters. There we go. I'm all good. What what's going on there? This is crazy. Mm. What did I take, man? This is, I had like 60 free slots. What's going on here? Is this shit? Let's get rid of it. Yes, I have it on my map on my Bradons, so I have seen it, but probably never know what was special about it. You will see, you will see. Um, let's throw this shit away. I don't need this. Yeah, I need these muffins. This is crazy, but why did this happen, man? Huh. Oh. Yeah, let's use this and yeah, remove this, take this one. <coughs> I can finally move. Oh, but I cannot take a shit. <laughs> Not take a shit. I mean, I cannot take anything. Uh, since I'm going to be over encumbered like immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go inside. Uh, oh, hello Kaz. Welcome to the stream and thanks for stopping by, man. Really appreciate it. And hello Prime Chip, welcome to the stream man. Do you use an amulet of the ring replacing a constant effect? Did you use an amulet or ring replacing a constant effect one? I use the... I use many rings as you can see. 
I removed Barley's Maze band and equipped the Marara's ring, which does a lot of cool things and have uh, like constant effect. Since I don't need Barley's Maze band right now. Okay, so as I can see, party has started. And for some reason I p managed to paralyze her, I don't know how, since my sword is not doing that. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no tint to that, sorry, you? Okay, so I pretty much, much need to clean this shrine so Musa can go back there. Uh, See you later, Josh. Uh, thank you for stopping by and take care, man. Okay, so they are like right wing. That must be left wing. Let's go to the left wing first. I'm going to heal here for a while. There we go. Chip says, so guys, I got a new game called No Man's Sky. It's really fun. Also, how is everyone? I'm quite good, man. I played No Man's Sky for a couple of days. Good game. And this is the fight be between ordinators and... Yeah, they are... Yeah, these guys will try, you know, to... Beat the crap out of me, but they are really not challenge for me. I've oh, had enough of this. I hope you get eaten by a kaguti. Yes, kaguti will eat me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I never heard this comment ever while playing the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> uh, I mean, while playing Morrowind. <laughs> kaguti will eat me. Okay, whatever. Let's remove those since I'm gonna Indurial belt, okay. Disciple Disciple Temple's belt. Disciple Temple's robe. That's nice. Oh thank you, Courtney. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh Disciple Temple's robe. Well I don't like them. But I like this. Bracers. What's the price? I'll leave them here for now. I, I really don't understand. Is my strength that much damage? I mean, when I remove the strength bust boosters, it doesn't show anything spectacular, really. Yeah, like... Two of these. Oh, my strength is like destroyed completely. It's, it has been like completely eaten up. That's the problem. Now we're talking. There we go. Now I have that capacity that I wanted. This is good. Okay, let's go. That was the problem. So this is shrine to the Azura. Some flowers. Nothing special really, since her uh, primary shrine is on the other part of the bottom fell. Uh, Chip, that game was named like the biggest false hype ever. The developers... Uh, promise like tons of things and they never fulfill their promises but I but I find that game enjoyable for me at least and it was like under heavy 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 uh, criticism from the community since they expected I don't know what like I think they expected like Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress in the space in that type of complexity it's kind of crazy but, but it's true Oh my god, that was like nice cream. Should I? Oh no, I'll take this. Boots, health, 
fatigue. And yeah, she does. Maybe I should take this amulet just for the collection. Diamond, raw ebony. Shiogora still don't want to speak with me, okay. Oh, golden saint. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my soul trap? Where's my soul trap? Where you at? There we go. <coughs> Come on, mate. You need to be closer to her. There we go. Now we're talking. Awesome. Another golden saint for my collection. This is perfect. There, there will be like... I will make so many constant enchantments. That this is going to be crazy. Oops. Shield of light, light, okay. Yeah, it, it sounds like Bethesda, but these guys were, you know, it's it's very young uh, development team and they were kind of, um, you know, taken by the hype and it's crazy what, what things happen to them. They, they managed to create like the huge, huge galaxy space with thousands and thousands of star systems, but... Oh my god, so many Nords here. How does it feel to know but that? they... you kind of don't have much to do up there. That weapon is like... What what did she done to me right now? What's that? Shock damage. That was like really impressive. And this guy has ebony spear. Yeah, I'm taking that. I can sell that to the scamp. In the real helmet. Taking that as well. Let's move these boots and a shield next to his body so I can Oh another golden saint. This is going very, very nice. Do I have any more empty Grand Soul Gems? Yeah, I have. Perfect. Oh my god. Wrong button. Come on, man. You can do it. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, restore health. Where's my restore magic? Uh, there we go. And you're mine. <coughs> awesome. This is this is developing so nice. Let's say what the ought to say, whatever. <coughs> and let's press on. These bone mold guys don't have nice loot, but the um, in the real armor guys are having like very very valuable items. Was this place okay? There was a battle here, and that bone walker fucked me up again. Okay, whatever. Let's move. Remove this. Yeah, my strength is damaged again. Where is it? Plan 7, nice, put those on, nice, oh, awesome, uh, yeah, let's proceed forward, did they have something interesting, that's forward, yeah, it's still cr claymore off, queuing, Fortify long blade. Yeah, let's remove those. You don't need health. Restore fatigue. Well, let's take it. It cannot hurt. And I will rest here. And yeah, hopefully we'll manage to clear this whole ruin for the Ahemusa. What's her name? Wise woman so she can be able to come here and you know give her some type of estimation whether did i good did a good job or not or whatever you know okay so it seems that i
covered all this, right? Wrong? Let me double check, so... There ain't... Oh, there, there is actually the upper chamber. It's right from... It, yeah, 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 there we go. I missed this. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Okay, whatever. You? Well, 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 what do we have here? Do you have your invitation? Are you player of the game? Or one of game pieces? Or a humble specta spectator? Uh, offer to spare her life in exchange for shel shelter for challenge her to a duel, yeah. Okay, if it's, if it's my move, then... Oh, now this guy is like... <laughs> Fuck! Come on, mate, move. There we go. You're going down. Awesome. And you, brother? Lust Drake. Wanna drink, buddy? Got anything you want, so as long as it's Sujama. Decline. Fuck you, mate. Okay, he has Devil Tantu. I'm taking that as well. And she also has that. I, I don't have the space. And I remember that under one of these pillows, uh, there is like a quest item for... There we go. It's called Gamble Pudi. It's basically the artifact that Shiogorat wants you to give him and I pretty much found it. It's simply a glow that he has all these <coughs> nice effects and disadvantages as you can see but whatever let's let's proceed let's go back we kind of clear out this area and I'm almost full my carry capacity is like already like uh, yeah almost at uh, its maximum so i'll probably have to part with some objects that i already have but i don't mind that really let's see if i can speak with shiogorat now no okay whatever right wing so i can go to the right wing from here and this will take me to outer shrine uh oh golden saint well i don't have any soul gems but i'll be glad to kill her really there we go let's go to the right wing jim says want to hear a joke fargot is the weakest npc in the game and he's not the 10 divine that's not true that that's blasphemy right there by the way, Chim, I'm planning to do a uh, Fargo playthrough. I'll be playing like... Um, I'll be Fargo and I'll be living his life. I don't know how long will I keep up, but... I'll try to do that, you know. Yeah, it hurts. There is no escape. Fuck you. There we go. Restore health, yeah, I need that. And restore fatigue, I need that as well. You don't need these boots. This. Yeah, you can keep that maze. Same lies here. Oh my god, I'm I'm completely over encumbered. Ring of sanguine green wisdom. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. It fortifies the restoration constant effect so I'm taking that I cannot reach that uh, female female red guard what's up there uh, see you later prime chip thank you for stopping by and you have a good one and enjoy your no man's sky playthrough or let's play or Or whatever it will be, I'll be there to check it out for sure. Okay, so... 
Yes, let's go to the outer shrine since this part is kind of... I cleared this part, right? Yes. Okay, so I came from the right wing. Need to go to the... L no, I went to the left wing. Okay, we did the huge loop. This is the inner shrine. Left wing, right wing. I think I cleansed this place. I'm not sure though, but I don't think there is anyone left here. Let me check that. I can check that while with resting the option, you see? If I can rest, there is nobody around me. So that's a good sign, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I will not bother myself with this chest. Let's just... Check this place once again and go back to the Ayamusa tribe and let them know that their new home is clean and ready. Fuck Talos, Fagot is the real shit. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Talos is like... Past. Thing of the past. But for real, Chim, I'm going to play as a Fargot and I'm going to, you know, Imperial Guards has some nice ideas that he suggested me. I don't know how long will I be able to keep up. <laughs> I'll probably lose all my subs, but it's worth it, really. Where are those enemies? I don't see them. Where they at? Bring it on! Where you at? Oh. It was a mouse. Okay. Let's go back to a Musa tribe and check out... Um, did we... Check out here we done this quest like... Uh, is everything okay? Is the, we'll, we'll need to go and pick up the wise woman and she need to cons come with us to the shrine and check out on things, shit like that. The only person to turn a meme into actual idea. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that, uh, honestly, I'm going to try to play as Fargot to... I'll probably try to go with the dagger, it will be one of my skills. And I'll try to hunt mood crabs next to the shore. I'll go speak with Aurelia, my friend. Uh, I'll, I will probably try to have a fight with that Nord on the upper level who want to steal my ring and things like that. It, it would be nice, but I'll probably lose all my subs, Exilia. Maybe even my life. My real life. Okay, I wish that the tribe is a little bit closer than it is, but whatever. Mm. Yes, and I need to clear this uh, part since she don't have the water walking, so I should probably kill each uh, thing that lives in this. Oh my god, where am I going? Okay, That's li that lives underwater since I want to protect her. You never know what you get with Fargo. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's equal to Shiogorat, you know. <laughs> it will be some crazy shit. <laughs> you should also get a eating and drinking mood for a maximum immersion. Uh, yeah, I might do that. That's a good idea, but I really want to have that vanilla Fargo experience. And that's mean I walk to warehouse. I go back to the bridge. I go to the entrance to say the name. I go back to the bridge. I talk with uh, Ariel. I go back to the bridge. Yeah, and then I should go to my hiding place. Things like that, you know. 
credits goes to Imperial Guard, of course. He made a wonderful choice of suggesting me such nice or, and original build. It would be awesome. And the Exile, I imagine just about like 100 episodes of that. It would be like, I think that I would be, I would be hijacked and take to mental institution probably. Okay, let's wait for the daytime before we bring her back to the ruin. Where is she? Okay, this is her tent. Safe place. Yeah, you will accompany me. Yeah, accompany me. Yes, please accompany me. There we go. Christ's sake. Come on. Oh, such such nice sun rays coming from the slopes of Red Mountain on this wonderful morning. Crazy knock, yeah. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> oh, this one is diseased, I see. Now you die. He's dead already. Don't push yourself, just... There is another one. What's going on? These creatures are, are like loving you so much. Oh hey, my god. For me. Now you die. Please come this way, good lady. There we go. I'm going to save the game here before I went deeper into that ruin. And hopefully this will bring me... Oh, she has the water walking as well. I didn't know this. Okay. As I said, guys. Um, this will help me to be named the Nerevarin of Ahemusa tribe. And that would bring me like one step closer to the... Uh, actual becoming the real Nerevarin. And to that meeting the, with the... Uh, leaders of the tribunal. I don't mean mean Vivek. Vivek is bitch. I'm going to kill him. But with the uh, hey, for me. what's the name of the dead main priest of the tribunal, basically. And I'll manage to unite the dissident priests in the temple. That that's like my main goal. I want to unite Danmaras and remove the false gods, but. There are a lot of things to do before that. I am still debating how am I going the easiest way, you know, how to convince House Klalu to proclaim me the Hotrator, since I'm leader of Great House Red Run. And so far I have been only uh, given the Hotrator, uh, proclaimed Hotrator for Urshilaku and from uh, Great House Red Run. No one else has given me that uh, title yet and hopefully the Ayamusas will this woman will like proclaim me that now since they don't have the uh, leader of the tribe but we'll see come on she has like constant water walking that's so cool I don't have that so I need to hurry and I'll wait for her here Yeah, the property is severed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chim. That will be nice when you... I I'll try to do that with Fargot. We'll see. But not, not now, definitely. I need to come up with complete concept of the Fargot. Hey, wait for me. I think everything is clear, right? Yes, I can rest. Okay. Let's go inside. Hopefully I haven't missed any of these hallways, chambers, I hope there are no secret chambers in there as well. There we go. Where is she? What? What are you doing for Christ's sake? Follow me. Here. Come here. No, no, no. 
Oh my god. Let's go this way. Can you climb that shit? She can like do what a walk, but she cannot climb the stone and there she is. Okay. I need to take her into the sanctuary. Okay. Sounds it's fair enough for me, just let me replenish my magicka. There we go. And let's take her inside deeper into the shrine. Hey, wait for me. I'm here. And that, I, I, I don't know which thing is letting out these sounds. I think it's only sound overhaul from the Morwin overhaul and not actual beast. Since I'm going to fail this quest horribly if that's the quick case. But we'll see. This Dina shrine. Is this the like the thing that you want me to Thank you? I said I would accompany you, Xenox, to see if you had made all the Edward safe for the Ayamusa. You have fulfilled my conditions. Thank you, Xenox. The Ayamusa shall be saved, and if you wish now I shall name you the Nerevarine. Okay, do that. You have made this place safe for Ayamusa, and so I name you Ayamusa Nerevarine, war leader of the Ayamusa and protector of the people. I also give you the Madstone of the Ayamusa. Madstone? Okay. Which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that you are the Nerevarin and that the Ayamusa shall follow you in all things even unto that till the enemy is defeated or till you are dead. Now I can stay only briefly, soon I must return to Ayamusa camp and make preparations to re relocate here. And she gave me the Madstone, okay. Yeah, no need to bother with her. Let's check out that cool madstone. Uh, where is it? I want to see it. Okay. I have so many uh, objects. Where is it? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, whatever. I'll check it out later. Oh, there it is, I think. The Madstone of Ayamusa. It gives 50 points of sound for 10 seconds and touch. Well, whatever. I mean, better than nothing. And Shiogorat don't want to speak with me. It's like interactive, but for some reason I cannot start the quest now. Whatever. I'll do try to do this actually I'm going to save the game and I'll try to you know do things with this chest this is like uh, Shiogorat's chest I think we'll see 25 gold mm, iron spark axe pretty good. okay nothing in there and what Oh yes, I removed my sword. Okay, makes sense. Okay, let's go back to the Balmora. Leave our loot there and continue. The Adoring Fan is Fargot's God Messenger. Well, I wouldn't mix the Adoring Fan with the Fargot, really. Fargot is one and unique. I, To be honest, I never liked the Adoring Fan. He's like pain in the ass. At least for me, uh, I don't know about the other people. I'm going to sell this tent too, like right now. And yeah, this glass bracers, I can sell this in the real boots and helmet right now to avoid piling things up on this place. Let's go to the caldera. Awesome. <clears throat> things are going very very well so now we are named the Nerevarin for the Ushilaku, Ayamusa and Red Run. We have two houses and three tribes to go or two tribes not sure though we'll see the Telvani would be a problem as well but we'll manage somehow I'm sure okay let's sell him this yeah, you like it, don't you? Uh, 
Okay, three days. This is going to help me recover all the money I spent on repairs and things like that, since my sport is very, 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 very heavily, heavily, okay, very expensive to when it comes to reparations and things like that, and it gets damaged very easily. So I, I don't like that, but that's the Morrowind Rebirth add-on. They call that a balance. For example, if I kill two scamps, the repair cost would be like 400. It's crazy, but it's true. Let's sell these boots. Nice. You're a good man. And I'll, I'm still here. Uh, Courtney says I'm still here, by the way. Just listening to you while I clean up. Oh, no problem, Courtney. Enjoy the stream and yeah, it's all good. No worries. Uh, let's sell him the Indoreal helmet. I know that he will like it. And I'm not going to sell it at a full price, really. Yeah, let's go with this. Anything else? Yeah, I forgot about this. 10 2. I really want to get rid of that shit. There we go. Oh, you're such a nice camp. Nice camp. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. So, uh, how much money do we have? It's okay, around 27k. That means that I, I'm not certain. But I think I have like the enough money to enchant one of my dead gauntlets. Not sure though, but I will check that out like right now. We'll see. And if I'm wrong, then whatever. It is what it is. I can sell more more stuff to this guy. Let's go to Balmora. Perfect. I'm going to heal. And wh where are my dead glows? There they are. Okay. The capacity of this ones is like 45. Or no, it's... Was it 65? Or We'll see, we'll see. Let me pull one of those. 45, okay. Constant effect. Okay, I will fortify the strength. Uh, like, let me see, 10 to 10. I need to have it like... Let me check out my current... Um, so this glow fortifies strength 5 points. This fortifies 15 points. Her hand's left gauntlet is fortifying 5 points, so... If I fortify this glow now, over 5 points, that would be like better than her hand's glow. And that means that it can help. Let me just see the... No, should be 9 to 9. 31,000. Damn. I'm like lacking like... 5,000 I, I, I need to make up to there or not. Well, we'll see. Let's leave it here for now. I don't have enough money for big experiments and nice, you know, nice, impressive uh, enchantments. This was just an idea. Okay, uh, next tribe that I should visit is Zainab. I think they are somewhere here. This is Fallen Serrano. No, the, there, there is other tribe here. My map is not working. There we go, Zainab camp, yes. So I should go back to the boss and travel straight to Zainab camp and see what, they, what are their requirements uh, for me to become their Nerevarine. I think it's some, some stupid quest probably, but we'll see. You never know. I think I'm on the wrong door. Oh, I'm not. Okay, good. Yeah. 
What say? I ain't saying shit. Come on, move, man. There we go. Uh, so that would be another tribe on our side. Uh, I'm making quick progress. I'm happy because of that, but I think I should slow down at some point since uh, after this I can really do like speed run towards the Degoter and that part of the game. What we'll see really. I'm not sure. I don't have any plans and I really don't know when I'm about to kill him. Uh, probably my next stream will be search for the uh, dead curious and the whole armor set since I want to get rid of this ebony armor that I'm wearing. I want to upgrade pretty much um, each part of my Mm, equipment and I might enchant the my katana that I was wearing so we'll see there are a lot of options to do right now so yeah I really don't want to rush there like crazy you know and just finish off the Dago tour I'm planning to have like 10 more levels before I get there and like 200k maybe of investments into my armor probably something like that we'll see I'm still uh, considering my options and I really don't want to speed run this game and finish it like case up um, and I'm by the way I'm planning another visit to the there is no last living dwarf uh, who is like um, who is like uh, in, uh, living in the corpusarium? I want him to uh, explain me divine metaphysics. I heard that you can take him the Gorwin books, so and he can read them and explain them to you. So that's so cool, and I really want to do that and feel that, since I've never done that so far. Yeah, I'm going the right direction. So this is good. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Will this kill him? No, he's... He has like more health than the... Boar was this Dup Dilla. Okay, let's let's quickly visit this. Uh, I think this is six house base of some sort. Let's. Oh, it's not. Okay. Let's really quickly go to this place and check it out. I don't think these are smugglers. This is like. It has all those nice crystals. Who's this? Kumania. I don't know you. Who are you? Sorcerer. Any time now. Oh, Colovian fur left gauntlets. Exilia, if you're here, do, 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 do you see this? This is like added by the, the mod adds this, I think. Uh, this would really interest you. Uh, let me just... There we go. Uh, Colovian gauntlets. Like, they, they would perfectly s go with the, you know, with the hat and things like that. So nice, actually. Perfect. Key to Dubdila door. Okay. So she's kind of peaceful. D did you, by the way, did you find this, uh, this gauntlets? It's, I'm so surprised, really. This gives me an idea for Fargot, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna go into details, you know. 
It would be too much, really. Let's uh, rest here. And I really want to know what's the deal with this cave. We have this, like, sorceress. We have this... Uncharted caverns. I, I'm guys. I'm like playing this game for 14 years. I, I never saw this cave, no, no these doors. I don't think that this exists in vanilla game. I'm going to, you know, see what was this all about. This might be the vanilla, though. I'm not sure. Let's quickly remove that trap. There we go. Uh, I wasted, but it was worth it. Was my night tie? Perfect. So these are uncharted caverns, as th th there was the key on her table. That means that I, you know, I should kill her in order to obtain that. But I really didn't want to kill her. I mean, she did not attack me. She was not aggressive in any way and, you know, it's kind of stupid to just do that. Oh my god, this is awesome, like... Is this part of the vanilla? If it is, then I... I, I know there are places in the uh, Morrowind that I haven't visited yet. That I haven't covered since Morrowind is a huge place compared to the others, but this place is huge. And hello, there, uh, 228. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. And yeah, it seems you're having fun. That's nice. Okay, let's check out the rest of the cave before I venture deep. Oh, th this place is awesome. I really hope it's not a mod. Since it's so exciting to discover things that even after like 14 years you, you haven't saw it. Okay, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> but I have to. Okay. And I fell down. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this little shit. Okay. Hello, Click. Welcome to the stream, mate. How are you doing? Привет. Uh, yeah, happy holidays to you too. Okay, where I'm going, I'm completely lost <laughs> right now. Like, this is amazing. Why can't I climb up there? There we go. Dubdila. I need to Google this term and check it out on USP. Uh, this is what I love in Morrowind. This is like... Whoa, and this cave is fucking scary and Where's my restore magic? I will need it. There we go. Let's use the levitate Pull out a sword and beat the crap out of that guy What's behind these doors? So this is like huge abandoned uh, dead recruiting, as I can see from. Fine, I'm drink my beer and happy. Sorry for my bad English. Oh no problem. Uh, enjoy your beer, man, and have a good time. Thank you for stopping by on the stream. I really appreciate that, mate. Uh. 
Okay, what's on the other side? Another door. Okay. I might rush a bit into this, but I don't mind really. It's all good. Let me check this really quickly. Dubdelia. Okay. Let's go there. Oh, th this pretty much takes me back. This takes me to the lower caves. Okay. Is there something specific when it comes to these caves and things inside of them? What's down there? Oh, I need to die. Yeah, let's use the uh, water breathing and check the lower levels of this. I'm sure there, there, there should be some, you know, like very nice artifacts to be found in here. This is much better than in the Reverend quest. I would really like to explore this dead with ruins completely. So there is one way there. Where's my night tide? There we go. One way leads there and another one leads under the water. And once again here. Okay. And it loops back to that other part I presume. This is so nice. And this place must have uh, the purpose. It must have the purpose. It's, it's not just here, you know, to... So this is way back. Okay. And we have the lower caverns. There are two entrances to the lower caves or caverns or however you name it and this takes me once again to the depths okay let's let's quickly levitate up there come on there we go and then we will proceed to the um, uh, lower part of the cave but first let me replenish my magicka oh welcome back Josh uh, and Click is asking me, you were on the Oktoberfest, no mate, I I don't visit Oktoberfest, I don't find that much interesting, yet, oh come on, come on, come on, damn it, there we go, squares off, okay, let's check out the lower caves and if there is nothing in here, we will go back to that wizard, check out, uh, did she has some type of notes on this place or something like that? Oh, I went back, did I? No. No, I haven't. And if not, well, whatever. We'll go back. Since so far I haven't found anything except my excitement that I, I thought that this place was like, you know, uh, has some cool things, but it seems it's only like a uh, flooded uh, dead recruit without uh, any particular place of interest. But I might be wrong though, um, I'm just going through it right now, like just browsing. Okay, so this is definitely something, but I cannot go through this. This is the way into the actual ruin, but it's walled up for some reason and yeah, there. God knows what else is there, I mean, so cool, but it seems I'll never find out since I never found a quest uh, that mentions this case at all. So that's strange. 
let's levitate up there and try to explore the other part of the cave since there is no hope that I'm gonna go through this wall I might do TCL but that would be like uh, <laughs> not good and there's the waterway that I haven't explored this waterway and I need to check out where where does it leads where's my night tie I have the light okay whatever I need to check out where does this thing lead oh another one of those okay is that there we go and there's like is this a passage door what's this I'm going to take water breathing uh, what is DLC of ori original Morrowind? Uh, the the uh, Blood Moon and Tribunal. Pretty much two of them. So this pretty much led me back. And I cannot go through that wall, so this is like time wasting. And I really want to know what this thing is all about, what's in that uh, dead recruiting, but I'll probably will never know since <laughs> this is like literally guys, like the first time in 14 years that I've seen this place and seen that uh, high elf that lives inside and oh hello games for breakfast, welcome to the stream, thank you for stopping by mate. This is like, as I said, like the first time I'm seeing this. It's crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, let me check her out. Uh, she might know something more about this place. Oh, where is she? <laughs> I kind of... Uh, Okay, give me the night ties since I don't, <laughs> I don't see shit. Oh, there we go. It's up there, okay. My alteration increased to 40. That's that's very nice. Okay, where where was she? No, oh, no, there. There is she. Uh, Click says, I don't know this location. Neither do I, mate. Neither do I. Oh, by the way, how are you doing games for breakfast? How are things going? The cake and the diamond. Okay. Plain paper, plain paper. So she cannot tell us much Anytime about... Anytime now. Fair warning. This being an account of my limited journeys into the uncharted depths of greater caverns of Dubdilla, fair warning to the would-be adventurer seeking fortune and fame in these uncharted halls, the flooded paths of Lower Dubdila hold certain death to those ill-prepared. The way is treacherous and fall, the richest mega. Only those of certain aptitude and reason should venture into this depth. Okay, no exit is assured. Okay, I, I know that. Hmm. Navigation is not your only trial. I mean, I, I kind of visited each place in this, but I wasn't able to, you know, remove that wall. And she knows nothing. She just, like, stares at me. Oh, welcome to the, to the cave. It's so nice to see you. Okay, let's go back to the main quest, really. Uh, I don't think I'll find anything more in here. It's such a nice place, but that part is is like looks like it there was cave in there and it doesn't make sense for me to be there at all always good Xenox so I'm glad to hear that mate just finished recording more with myself okay I need to check out those videos uh, since I waited for the new episode And 
and I like your build. I barely like the builds with Imperials, but I like your build. It's very interesting. <coughs> and you are visiting interesting places. I really like the details when it comes to the Morwin and Morwin helping. I had a plan actually for my Morwin that it would be partially recording and partially streams, but due to my job, uh, you know, n needs. I like don't have time to record and edit too much so I basically turn to the streaming only. Oh Shaden uh Shaden is asking me very nice things. Uh he's probably having fun of some sort, I don't know. Welcome to the stream, Shaden. As I said, so I didn't have that much of a time to, you know, um, do recordings and stuff. I probably recorded only one episode. Oh, Exilia, don't delete him. He is kind of... I like unfortunate people. <laughs> it's all good. Uh... So let's check the Zyna people and uh, Exilia says don't touch such root. Well, uh, <laughs> it seems that he's a very very unfortunate guy. In the nearest time are there plans of streaming Oblivion or Skyrim? Yes, yes, there would be both, both of those. Um, Game says, not sure about my build even, but it seems to be surviving fights. Yes, <laughs> those are the best, uh, best builds. <laughs> my build was in plan as well, I just put the skills that I like. And Shaden says, Exilia flexing hard. Yeah, yeah, he's flexing hard, mate. Watch your language. If you want to stay here. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, so I'm in the Zainab tribe, I should ask the Ashakan first about the, you know, me becoming the Nerevar of the Zainab camp. Josh says I got put in timeout in stream, really? How, how did that happen mate? Uh, let me, let me quickly fix that, there we go. Uh, I don't think there will be more more problem in that direction. I don't know what happened, mate. I'm really sorry, but I don't think that any of the moderators. It, it must be YouTube or, or some mistake. So you are Xenox, the outliner who claims to fulfill Neverwinter prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality, outliner. But you must tell us how can an outliner be the Neverwinter? Oh my God! Do I really need to go through this again? We have heard of rumors. We know you to be the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. But teach us, Xenox, how could an outlander be the Nerevarine? Yeah, I'm going to tell my story, show the proofs and shit. Ho ho, excuse me. Do not think me rude, but seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit you are an outlander completely ignorant of our ways. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll try to persuade him. Skies above, talk where wealth, you make me rich. <laughs> okay, you made your point, mate. Give me a task, yeah, give me a task. Um, Josh says, no, not in this stream. It oh, okay. Okay. And Games for Breakfast says, your intelligence and speed are much higher than mine, although I see we are both focusing on strength. Yeah, the strength should be like the the uh, cutting edge in every more wind stream, I think. And Josh, sorry for, for the misunderstanding, but you are a moderator now, so... <laughs> we're, it's a double win, mate. And <clears throat> it seems that Shadin is having more fun. I like that. You're having a blast, mate. 
they make asshole people mods. Oh, I see. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge nearby Nerano ancestral tomb. If you're as worthy as you say you are, it should be a s small matter for you to dispose of this vampire. There, you have your task. Now, perhaps, would you leave me in peace for a bit? <laughs> okay. Where's this tomb? It's to the north. But you're a stranger and may might get lost, I might. Okay, let's let's visit that tomb and kill the vampire. Oh my god, it, it, it's such a like trivial task. Uh, okay, it seems that we're having Tupac on the stream, so that's nice. I will let him to chill off a bit. You know, he needs to cool off his guns, and probably. When he gets back, he'll be more respect respectful, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's try to find the Niran ancestral tomb. If not, well, we will go. We we'll have to block him for good. There we go. We pray, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we pray, Exilia. I mean, I don't have anything bad against the certain person that I mentioned. I really respect his work, but <laughs> I don't like that uh, language. Uh, yeah, one like, one prayer. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that language in the stream, you know. It's, it's very disrespectful towards the people in the stream. Towards, especially towards the female population on the stream, so I don't like that, really. If not, I'll use the bun saber, yeah. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Let's let's go with the reason, you know. I hope that reason will prevail always. What I just said, where is it? It's to the north. Go west from our camp until you reach the mountain. Oh, I see. Then turn north and follow the mountain. Keep it down. When you pass the ruins of Nutsch left, keep your eyes to the east looking for an entrance. Oh my god, my, this gives me like a headache. So I need to go to the mountains. Yeah, Courtney, something like that. I just don't like that type of a language in the chat. It makes me nervous. Uh, when you pass the ruins of Nuchlaft, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flank. We, most of us have a sister and I wouldn't like that anyone telling that kind of shit in front of my sister, so... You can all understand that, guys. Is this the Nutch left, uh, whatever its name is? But Exilio, give me an idea. Next stream would be like uh, one like, one prayer. Help those in need. <laughs> you're you're crazier than Imperial Guard sometimes. You know that. Oh my god, one like, one prayer. <laughs> okay, so I need to keep my eyes to the east. Flanked by two trees, some western slope of a hill in the center of Graceland's. Okay, there, there, there is a hill. Okay, I know where that is. This is like the biggest hill in the Graceland's. Josh says, well, I don't re like recitism in the chats. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I don't like any type of discrimination in that direction. Really, no the race, no the... Towards females and things like that, you know. But enough of him. 
let's stop wasting our breath on that fiend and let's focus on the Morrowind I probably didn't spell it right yeah you, you wanted to say racism yes okay I think I'm the, in the right place this is the Nerano ancestral tomb yes and inside I need to kill that uh, stupid vampire never fed the trolls exactly games exactly never give them space to breathe so mr. Calvario he's a vampire and he passed the Zainab long enough so let's kill the mr. Calvario and Dundress, who the fuck are you, mate? Oh my god, Exilia, this one has the Colovian fur uh, gauntlets as well. This is awesome mod. I I'm going to use this for the Fargot. Fargot is going to become like the... I will try to find the Colovian fur robes as well. So Calvario should be in the uh, main chamber of this note from Bakarak. Morris, your boys better clear out. Our position was given away and we were raided by that bastard Gorius. He sent the small band of the dead to draw us and wipe out ba all but Luven. He was able to make it back here to nail us. What the hell? Who, who are all these people? I don't know this. We're cleaning out and heading for a new location. I suggest you and your boys get out. Okay. Gory sends them damned and dead your way. I never turn those goods over to that necro. <laughs> okay. What's fair is fair enough. Okay, whatever. Uh, it seems that things went pretty wrong. Yeah, and around a tomb chest. Oh my god, let me take that. There we go. Athletics go to 67. Gold. And there's the Calvario. Oh, you're such a weakling. Let's check out. Uh, Calvario got nothing on him. Expensive shirt, so this this was like all in vain. I, I I will pretty much be only proclaim the Nerevarine of the Zainab without any cool artifacts and shit like that probably. Well, whatever. Let's try this uh, chest just to see if my theory is correct. It's all uh, from the MGSO. You mean Morrowind Graphic Extender? Oh, I. It's not the uh, what's his name? The um, Morrowind Rebirth. Spike Club, like for real? Okay. Uh, who would carry this weapon? What's the word? I haven't saw this. Sorry, guys. Four. What am I doing? <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Okay, let's go out. We killed the Calvario and... Yeah, we kinda... Found a bunch of smugglers and criminals inside of this cave and... They're all dead, so yeah. Let's go out. I'm asking you... Oh no, I think it's the Morrowind Rebirth. Since... Uh, Morrowind, the overhaul is giving you like only those graphic improvements or the, it might be Morrowind overhaul in fact uh, it, it has some mods inside it that gives to the cloth gives some nice armors and things but most of these cloth pieces and the armors and the artifacts are added on by the Morrowind rebirth unfortunately if, if that mode could be like split in two, you know, like a Skyrim Re Requiem where you can choose what, what parts of the mode you want, you know what I'm saying? Instead of have to be forced to like use that 
uh, game mechanics breaking part that they think it, they, they think it fixed the game but it kind of destroys the game okay so the ruin is in this direction from the Morrowind Rebirth Exilia I would keep the artifacts they are so lore friendly and they are awesome they are very very nice artifacts but you know when you <laughs> when you can have the constant enchantment and shit like that you know, I say fuck the artifacts you know when, when you can't create your own shit and when the traders are like without the money What's the can, mate? Oh. It's down the south. Okay. Practicing athletics uh, equals a lot of fails from the hills and shit. There we go. Let me just quickly check where the other camp is. Should we? There it is. Era Ben Nimsun camp. It's here, okay, so it's Neil Tell Fear. Those are the next guys that I'm going to visit pretty much. So these people have oh there it is. I will check on their Ashakan and as What am I saying? This is still Zainab, okay. Welcome Outlander. Uh Ancestral Tomb. Yeah, I killed that guy. Calvario. Dead. Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Nervarine. Well. So, you killed the vampire. Well, I'd be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nervarine. But it's customary for one seeking an honor from Ashakan to offer an Ashakan generous gift. Really? You gold digger. As a mark of respect, because you're an outlander and do not know our customs. I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A high-born Telvani bride. Ooh, what the fuck is... A pretty one plump with big hips <laughs> to bring me many sons. Is this guy for real? <laughs> Exilia says no more wind rebirth installed. Yes. Did you map reset or have you discovered so few locations at level 34? Uh, my map resetted uh, because of the... My Morrowind Rebirth um, had a crash at some point during the Tribunal quest and I need to remove it and install the older version since I wanted to have the constant enchantment to be able to constant enchant things and it kinda restarted my map but when you when you hover over some things on the map on undiscovered territory it will give you the locations that you previous previously have been on so this guy wants me to find him high-born Telvani bride with big hips to bring him many sons and that's pretty much impossible I need to go to Telvani lords and inform them that Ashakan Kaushad of Lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. This guy's like, this is, he's out of his mind. I need to go and speak with his wise woman. This guy's crazy. No one would accept his offer. I mean, no one would give his daughter to this guy. Is there a level cap in Morrowind? Yes, yes, so uh, it, I think it stops at 100. Not sure though, but when you're level 100, you are like godlike. You, you can move mountains, literally. I need your counsel, good lady. Kaushad wants a Telvani bride. No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander. Yes, I know that. But I have a plan. Go to my friend Seville Mine. Slay mistress on the festival slave market in Tel Arun and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then Seville Mayan will tell you what clothes to buy 
and will dress her like a highborn Telvani, then escort the pretty slave to Zainab camp and present her to Asha Khan Kaushad as a highborn Telvani bride. He won't know the difference. Yes, that's like the unfortunately only way. So I need to go to tell Arun. Thank you. Th th this woman was very helpful. Thank you, good lady. I'm going to buy this shield and... Yeah, you don't have... So many cool potions, I see. Oh, I missed the door. Okay. So, pretty much no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of... Imagine yourself with level 100 and each of the skills at their peak, you know. It's kind of... <laughs> it's... <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, the, uh, one can exploit Morrowind so much that... But I like exploiting Morrowind to a certain point, really. That's what this game is for, pretty much. I, I don't mean to become like super power, we whack type of uh, creature, uh, not creature, individual, but I just want to have all the means to avenge Saint Nerevar and you know, destroy the tri tribunal. That's pretty much what's behind my agenda. Some people like tribunal, I don't. I, I pretty much despise on Alexia and Vivek. Solo seal is okay, but he's dead, so. Okay, let's practice the. or not. For my next dead reclaimer, I should use some offensive spell instead of uh, boosting strength. I'm using my strength only for my carry capacity and that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing else, really, nothing else. Are these guys hostile or... This is the end of you, this sweet! Okay, three witches, as I can see. Is it possible that I missed like two times? Plot sack. Okay, you? 19 gold. Okay, that's nice. You? Nothing. Uh, am I going in the right direction? Yes, I'm going. Oh my god, this is such a nice scenery. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me quickly pull up the fraps, guys. Sorry about this. And take the screenshot of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place in the Grazelands. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to remove the crosshair for a moment. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Let's take this angle and let's take. What's going on? I, I hate this distant land generation. It doesn't work good. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, games, what's your plan when it comes to the Morrowind and the character there? Are you aiming like uh, Terry Guild, become leader of everything, or just, you know... Uh, Ha become a leader of specific guilds and one house and get straight to the point or you don't have a plan <laughs> like me <laughs> oh this is so nice place I'm going to take a screenshot of this as well it's beautiful awesome okay enough of uh, scenery screenshots Let's use the water walking and get a Della room. Uh, Click says, you know Hatsune Miku? Uh, 
Well, I I don't know Hatsune Miku why click. And Kirtley says welcome, I presume, to the click. Uh, who is Hatsune Miku? Game says I haven't really had any plan to be honest dabbed in some Imperial Cult class, but those were only covered when working with Chaos. Yes, it's, it's like the... It, it's what he told you. Get into some guild, do some quests, raise your skills. And Curtin says, yes, I do. Oh, C Click Click is one of the regular guests on the stream. Uh, his English is sometimes weak. Uh, but he's okay, right? yeah. And game says since it's blind playthrough, most of the focus has been on the main quest. Uh, do experiment with various quests. Uh, d don't be afraid of that, or don't feel constrained. Not not afraid, since the you can only get rewarded. Yeah, Courtney, I know that. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I, I greet him on Russian sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably do the expansions eventually, but maybe after a break. Thank you very side quests here and there as well. Yeah. Morrowind is very, very rewarding game. If you do some things properly, you get like you can get a huge reward. Okay, this is severely mine. So the plan is, she's going to sell me one of the slaves, I presume this girl, and I need to dress her up to look as Telvani Highborn, and I need to buy the perfume, the clothes and shit like that, and bring her back to the Yashakan. Something special. You need a slave to pose as a... to pose, not to poise. To pose as a Highborn Telvani lady, sweet Alma. That Sonumu Zabamat and her cunning plans. Oh, that's on. <laughs> okay, I see. I do have the slave you want. Falura Lervu, a pretty dumb girl. But first, you must get exquisite shirt, exquisite skirt, and ex exquisite shoes to dress her. Go get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me, and then we will discuss the price for her. Telmora, elegant the clothier. Okay, Telmora, elegant the clothier. Uh, I'm out in the right place. Is this Telmora? This is Telarun. Okay. Oh my god. Mm, I went through a period where I lost a bit of interest and almost put on, it on hold. I found watching people like you on Verax, who know the game inside, oh, it has helped me appreciate it more. Re kind of my interest now I'm thinking of modding it for a second playthrough after I'm done the first one uh, I can I can help you with mods I know many great mods so feel free to you know ask me whatever you need I'll send you the links and things like that uh, Varax is whoa he's an awesome let's player and you sh it's good that you you revitalize your interest in Morrowind it's a great game you, but very unique okay where do you need to go to tell Mora right yeah I think she said tell Mora elegant the clothier Appreciate it. Thanks. So don't mention it. It's 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 really you will see you you will enjoy this mods that I'm going to send to you. It it only enhances the experience of the Morrowind. This game is such a great game. Believe me. And I, I'm not saying this only because of the nostalgia, but oh, he's here. So I'm on the right path. But this game is really something. So I need to buy exquisite, uh, exquisite shoes, skirt, and shirt.
exquisite shoes yeah i need one pair exquisite skirt one exquisite shirt okay okay there we go and everybody is talking about the smugglers this is like very bothersome i really need to do something about that since i want to want to hear other uh, latest rumors other than there are smugglers on the coast that's not uh, secret and this girl don't want to give me the transport something is Go wrong ahead, with me what do you need let's try this nope no luck okay i'm here is there a transport from the boss? That would be nice. Since otherwise I need to have a very long walk towards the Telarun. And honestly I don't want to get go through that. I don't know why this uh, some of the ship captains are getting broke completely I, and I cannot have dialogue with them they kind of are untouchable I don't understand why but fortunate oh my god is there something you need yeah I need to talk with you <laughs> okay let's re reset actress no no luck this is like Morgan Rebirth this is what I'm saying bullshit Okay, let's go with recall and then I'll be... Oh, I went back to Balmora. Okay, now I need to go to the Sadrit Mora and from there I'll take boat to the Tower To what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, excellent. And I found the Telvani bug mask since I'm pretty sure that they will ask me to bring them Telvani bug mask. Uh, Joshua says I got to get more wind you have my full support on that mate you will enjoy every second of it still cello now uh josh uh, when when you were buying the uh, morrowind look for the game of the year edition since it has the blood moon and tribunal included in it uh don't go without those two since you want to have the full experience and then throw the like huge amount of mods on it so uh, i have the clothes uh, next thing she will ask me is probably to give her the perfume the telvani bug mask and i already did it i bought, bought that uh, perfume from the ajira so oh my god this is such nice scenery let me let me quickly uh, take a screenshot it's perfect uh, so I already have the perfume I'm going to give her everything and I will bring this lady to Zainab um, Asha Khan and I think it will be good yes hopefully this guy can take me to the Talarur Tell Mora. Is it Mora or Oh my god. Let me check the map. It's Telarun. I'm going to walk. It's pretty close and uh, I don't want to take any risks by, by going far north. And if it turns out that this guys who should be. who are responsible for transport, if they are not working again, I should like walk such a long distance and I really don't want that and Telarun is very close to the Sadrit Mora so I'll walk to there there we go awesome now I have everything I just need to protect that girl uh, from the various uh, creatures 
uh, on the way towards the Zainab uh, camp. And yeah, the 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 guy from the Zainab, the uh, Ashakan, will think that she's highborn Talwani, and everyone will be happy. So that's nice. And I'm out of the mana. Let's wait till the morning. There we go. You're a dreamer? Yes, she's a dreamer. Three more hours, please. I want the full light. There we go. Who are you? Shagdu. Adventure lies beyond the cities, friend. Shagdab, Gramuz. Who are you? Warrior. Okay, whatever. Um, welcome, Xenox, to the Fistal Slave Market. The finest slaves of Arden Fellow and Seville. Uh, anything special? Yeah. Good. These clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you're bought her. But I need a little more time to coach Falura Lerwu to play the part of a high born Telvani lady. I know just the thing we need. Go get a bottle of Telvani bug mask. I have that one already, so I'll give you under drakes, thousand drakes. Awesome. So we pretty much bought this girl, and she will, you know, be taken to the. Yeah, let's travel together. Please accompany me to the Zainab camp. Yes, yeah, some presents. There we go. Can I open this? I could kill Thank that you. girl. Those boots are ruined. Yeah, travel together. Awesome. Let's go. And she looks like highborn Telvani with his clothes mm. and Telvani bug mask. So I think that our trick will work. I just need to find the easiest way to get across the border towards the Zainab camp. So there are two gaps to be filled with my protection. Okay. Sounds nice and easy, I hope. Hey, wait for me. I'm waiting for you, don't, no worries. Let me save it here since I wanted to crash the game and do this all over. Okay, so this place here should be safe, alright? Hey, I'll not use the water walk since she's going to swim. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so far so good. Any sort of fish? Oh, she's under attack. I knew it. There we go. Let's go. Come on, come on, don't get killed in there. I was probably the person who was banned actually. Who thumped down? How dare? <laughs> it was probably the person who was banned actually. Yeah, it was probably him. The frustrations are big sometimes, you know. He probably... Uh, it was the, the least thing that he could do. But whatever, it's his opinion, I, I appreciate his opinion, you know. Uh, thumbs ups and thumbs down are attracting the same amount of traffic towards the stream, so it doesn't really matter, you know. At the end of the day, I don't see a thumb down. Jokes on them, thumbs down still help the channel, yes, yes, they, it brings the same amount of traffic, so let him have it. Okay, so we're on the mainland after this and hopefully yes, she's okay That's good And this is one of most ridiculous quests I ever played in Morrowind hey, wait for me. There we go Okay, let's take her to back to Zainab not back. Let's take her to Zainab. What's that? 
there are Velotian ruins there and uh, according to map I haven't visited those I need to investigate those as soon as possible after this of course this way where she's at okay uh, yes I'm on the right track there we go follow me yeah it's yeah it's true it's it kind of helps so uh, if he wanted to hurt me uh, the best way to hurt this channel would be to completely ignore me but he increased the number of comments he had I had a re reaction on the stream in the form of thumb down so he will bring me like two or three percent of total traffic it's win-win situation for me really there are so many tombs I, hey, I, wait for me. I'm so stupid that I haven't explored the grazelands on the way they deserve to be explored there are so many tombs and things hey, to see I'm waiting for it. where she is it? okay there she is Oh my god, I can't wait to finish this quest. Th this guy is crazy with highborn Telwani uh, fantasies. Hey, wait for me! Oh, I'm waiting for you. Let me replenish the magic essence. Dangerous shit will be upon us, you know. And I need it. Gans for breakfast says, ironically, that's also the best way to hurt trolls in X. Ignore them. Yes, yes. Uh, no reaction and just one simple ban can be like the best cure for them. That's that's so true. Since ignoring someone is the most painful thing for those who are like attention thirsty, and those people are mainly that type of profile. They are like crazy about the intention and you know but I still don't under understand that model of behavior I really don't is that oh she she's uh, like true warrior she's going to beat the Ashikan that's nice I like that <laughs> oh my god Her speed is not high enough, I think that's the only explanation. And this is my like first playthrough that I really invested into the speed. I never invest in the speed or luck, never, never, never. I see them like an obstacle of some sort, things like that. Not that I hate the people who are relying on luck and speed, but it's just, just not my playing type. I know that luck can be awesome sometimes and bring you perfect benefits but come on there's the camp finally uh, game says usually just uh, kids or immature adults who think the internet is not the real world <laughs> yeah <laughs> I ignored speed and luck as well mostly because they had no multipliers for my first few levels yes one of the reasons when I read them all more when why why I never use them as well and you are so right about the adults who think the internet is not the real world <laughs> oh my god it, that's so like funny and you can laugh and cry at the same time to that unfortunate fact <laughs> it's so true okay let's bring you to the Ashakan she says anything's better than being a slave I disagree with you you know uh, but I hope that she will be happy with this guy I mean it doesn't look like a bad sort Yes, yes, Sarah. Yes, we are here safely. And this fine man, he is to be my bridegroom. 
He's very distinguished looking, isn't he? A bit severe perhaps, but the lines on his face there show that he likes to smile. Oh, Sarah, I think I will be very happy. Well, I'm so happy about her. It turns out well. Do we need to... It was a quite a journey. Yes, you, you kind of swimmed a lot. Hello, Kausat. Telvani bride. This is my new bride. I'm very pleased with your gift, Xenox, though she's not so generous in the hips as I would like. Oh, you maniac. I promise to make her a happy bride and to do her honor as a high-born Telvani lady. And as I have said, I will now name you Zainab Nerevarin, war leader of Zainab and protector of the people. I must also give you this Zainab tongue and a chain and heirloom of the tribe which shall be assigned to all the unmurdered Zainab can name you Nerevarin, tongue of Zainab. Okay. Um... Yes, I have named you Zainab Nerevarin, and we will listen with interest for tales of your exploit, Xenox. Let me check out that, whatever you gave me. Teeth of Urshulaku, Standard, standard and Belt, okay. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Tongue of Zainab. Detect animal. 150 feet for five seconds on self. Well, this might be useful when I start my Fargoat playthrough with the, you know, so I can hunt the animals and I can feed myself. But for this, I, I, I don't think so, but thank him for the gift. I really appreciate that. Okay. Let's go to... Should I go with Arabinism part or should I leave it for the next stream? I'm debating that. What should I do? Okay, let, uh, let's try to do that. Everything in my head. I feel like that tonight. Since I wanted to stop the stream for some strange reason, but... Uh, someone told me to continue. Okay. Do I need so much of greater soul gems? I don't think so. Let me like help this number. Since they wait a lot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I'll go to the Sadrit. Oh no, I need to see the smith first. I need to repair my weapons. Uh... Exile says I'm always you here. <laughs> oh my god. You, you know, uh, I'm going to look for some nice artifacts only, lore friendly mods outside of the Morrowind Rebirth. It's like the pack of the mods, but I think they can be found independently. And I'm going to ask the uh, Denai, Dena. Or I don't know how she pronounced her name about some nice lore friendly artifacts. I, I think there there are some of them to be found on the Nexus and there is like a website. I forgot its name, but it's completely de dedicated to the um, uh, Morrowind mods. And I'll if I find something interesting, I will warmly send it your way, Exilia. I hope the Chororagonian will not you be, seem like very you know, your last uh, build or thing like that. Okay, let's see Araben Nimsun camp, whatever their name is. I never pronounced it right, so native English speaking people, sorry about that. I'm not good with Dunmer and... Um, who are the others? Dwemer words, especially Dwemer. It's like a hell for me to read. I'd love it. That's great. I'll send you, but only lore friendly artifacts that would make sense, you know. Since <laughs> I have some subscribers that like to play with um, Morrowind with wings on their backs and uh, with Slayer sign and things like that. 
or vampires and I don't find that interesting it kind of ruins the game for me but I respect them of course so let's get rid of two diseased Kagutis and go to the oh my god oh it's stealth here <laughs> I'm tripping. For a moment I was tripping completely. Okay, night eye first. Uh, second spell would be water walking. Let's cast that shit. There we go. And yes, let's pass the tail fear, uh, get to the mainland and there should be the camp that we're looking for. There, I, uh, this is just assumption. I'm not sure though. This is a telephone, okay. I was right. My spell and night I expired. Uh, by the way, I should go back to Balmora and create a night eye constant effect on one of the glows since but that's like double-edged sword if I do that I will stop practicing the illusion school and that's not that good okay uh, this is the girl that I rescued in one of previous episodes okay for the moment I was, what? What are you doing in front of the Telfir Tower? But I know she is now. Back in a bit, coffee time. Okay, see you later, man. And thank you for being here, honestly. Thank you all. Thank you for the support, guys. Really appreciate that. And I knew that this is going to happen. Another one. There we go. I see a hut across the river, I hope that these guys are like, you know, uh, not hostile, but I'll be ready for anything. And the camp is very, very close. This would be like quick run for this quest and things like that. Are these guys hostile? Yes, they are. There go my... Hopes of pacifism. You sweet. There we go. Ten gold. Me ilu masit masitison. Okay, whatever. Mal Stewart. And this is the Mal. He's living his last moments. Okay. Uh, that's it when it comes to these bandits. And we slept well. Let's go straight to the camp. It's down here. Let's quickly go there and ask them. Uh, do they want me to proclaim it there? Nerevar in. There it is. Era Benim soon camp. Okay. Good for me. <sighs> there we are. Okay, let's fly down to the village. By the way, each one of these hits helped me increase my athletic skill, so I know what I'm doing. Let's speak with the Ashakan. Who's the Ashakan? Ahas? Ulat Pal. You're the Outlander? Yes, I'm the Outlander. How did you know that? We know about the prophecies. We think they are foolish superstition. Don't bother us with this nonsense. Are you the Ashakan or she like that? You are the Ashakan, okay. Uh, your camp? Okay. Uh, Outlander. 
I have nothing to say to you. I despise you, you and your kind. Go away. Uh huh. Yeah, nobody cares about that. You just make a start. Go away. Uh, I'll try with the wise woman. I might try to bring some sense into her. A smooth shirt. Where's the wise woman? I up. I don't see her. Oh, is this it? Must be. Yes. Josh says, Courtney, will you be streaming tonight? May you find all that you seek, traveler. I'm an Irai, wise woman or a Benimsi, or the outliner who claims to fulfill the Nerevarim prophecies. Do you need my service? Do you see my counsel? You wish to be named or a Benimsi, Nerevarim? Never. Not while Asha Kanulatpal and his war loving Era Benimsun live. They all hate outliners, are proud and haughty. And will never suffer outliner to rule them. If you would be Nerevarim, of the Arab Nimsu, you must kill Ulat Pal and his supporters, the Gula Khan, Zahaz, Rana, Bianashu, Ahe. Then you must help me make peace loving Arab. Okay. Okay, so this is like complete political stuff. But before anything can be done, you must first eliminate Ulat Pal. Okay, I see. Uh, so, guys, I will be leaving this for the separate stream tomorrow since. This is like a lot of things, this covers like a lot of things to do and I wish this to be a separate part. And Courtney says, yes, most likely after Exilia stream. Okay, I'll try to be there, if, and even we both will try to be there, even if it's too late for us, but I think we'll manage, <laughs> tonight at least, I hope. Okay guys, so thank you all for being here, uh, this was like enough for tonight I did a lot of things when it comes to the main quest uh, thank you Exilia, Courtney, Josh, Games and Chim, Chip, all the other people that were on the stream thanks for your support guys and yeah I, I'll see you later on Exilia stream probably so talk with you later guys bye